It was a wonderful day on the island of Sodor. The frogs were croaking, the squirrels were squirreling, and it was time for adventure on the island of Sodor. Listen up, everyone. My nephew Finn will be coming into town today, but unfortunately I have some business to attend to. Who would like to show Finn around the island for me? Every engine immediately tooted for Sir Tupham Hat's attention. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Troublesome trucks pull to and fro. If they're broken, let them go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mother told me to pick the very best engine, and that one is you. Oh, thank you, Sir Tupham Hat. You will not regret it. Dart, your reputation as a really useful engine is depending upon my nephew's enjoyment today. Please do your best to show him a good time. Yes, sir, I will. As Finn boarded Dart for their trip around Sodor, Thomas quietly whispered, You may not be thanking him by the end of the day. What do you mean, Thomas? Dart, Finn is a bit of a joker, so don't listen to a word he says. Aw, oh, thanks, Thomas, but I'm sure he's a great kid. Don't say I didn't warn you, Thomas cautioned as Dart optimistically chugged away. Welcome aboard, Finn. I'm really glad to see that your Uncle Hat gave us the chance to get to know each other better. What do you think of the island of- Dart! Frightened, Dart immediately slammed on his brakes, which frightened the grazing animals nearby. Mo. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> That was hilarious! Did you see those animals run off after they heard you? Yes, Finn. That was funny. But if someone was in the field, they could have been trampled by all the stampeding animals. Please keep others in mind before shouting out orders. Sure, 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 Dart. Let's just get moving. I'm sure Finn is just scared to be alone in a new place, Dart thought to himself. I'll show him the city. Maybe he'll feel more at home. Finn, I've decided to drive through the city to show you just how trains help people. Coming up is a railroad crossing where you can- <laughs> Dart slammed on his brakes harder than before, lunging forward and stopping right on the crossing. What is it? What's wrong? Finn laughed with excitement as he rolled on the ground. Oh, Dart, you silly train. There is nothing wrong but your uptight attitude and lack of fun. That wasn't funny, Finn. Someone could have been hurt. Please don't yell stop while we're moving. It's not safe and it's not funny. I'm going to tell that you are uncooperative and mean. That is unless you show me something worth seeing. Dart thought for a second and remembered that if he wasn't a really useful engine, Sir Tupham Hat would end up sending him to the smelter's yard to be scrapped. Okay, Finn. If you look really hard to the left, that large green structure is cranky. But what people don't know is... <laughs> Dart screamed, scared that they might be falling off the cliff. Oh my goodness, has my wheel fell off? Is there a rock slide? Are we going to fall off the mountain? What's wrong, Finn? What's wrong? Ha 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 ha. I can't believe you fell for that trick again. You're a rather gullible engine now, aren't you? That's it. Dart angrily fumed as he yelled at Finn. You are the worst passenger that I have ever had, and I'm not jeopardizing others on this track by listening to you. Now we're having fun. Finn hooted as Dart began to go as fast as he could up the mountain. But as the scenery began to whip by faster and faster, Finn started to feel afraid. Stop, Dart. I'm starting to get scared. But Dart wasn't listening. When they got to the top of the mountain, Finn started to get sick from how high they were. Stop, Dart. I'm starting to get sick. But Dart paid no attention. Dart knew the fastest way down the mountain was through the waterfall, into the old mine shaft, and down the train elevator. But what Dart didn't know is the train elevator was broken and being fixed for repairs. Stop, Dart. Stop. The train elevator is broken. But it was too late. Both Dart and Finn flew down the elevator shaft and crashed at the bar. Finn awoke in the hospital to Sir Topham Hat's smiling face. Thank goodness you're all right, Finn. As for Dart, he will be sent to the smelter's yard for putting you and others in harm's way. Please, Uncle Hat, don't send Dart to be scrapped. Why? 
Sir Topham Hatt asked in bewilderment. Because our accident was my fault. For fun, I yelled stop too many times until he stopped listening to me. Well then this changes everything. Dark will be sent to the diesel works to be fixed, and you will be spending the rest of your summer teaching kids the danger of yelling stop while in a moving vehicle. Well, let's look at the bright side. I have a whole week before I can go to camp, and Jello is in season for the rest of my stay. And they both laughed again. The end. Thanks for watching! What part did you like best? Comment below and let me know! Or click one of the links to watch more! Thanks again, and we'll see you next week!